Well, folks, today we're going to be walking you through how we put our Garmin live scopes on the barrel of our trolling motor. So it's almost every day I see this question on a forum or on Facebook where people are wondering how we do it. This is a system that we've had, I've now had on my boat for four years uh, between me and a bunch of my friends. We probably have over 20 seasons of live scope on our trolling motors. In my opinion, this is the best way to fish live scope. If you want to run it on a pole, that's great too. It's a personal preference. I can fish more effectively myself with it on the trolling motor. And so I want to walk you through our setup. And I did originally buy one of those mounts with all this aluminum parts that, uh, you know, you put some of them down here, some of them at the top. There's another pole that comes off the side. I had a lot of issues with vibration personally. Uh, if it works great for you, that's a great way to do it. Uh, but we have a pretty simple way of, of mounting these. We actually use Garmin standard barrel mount that uh, you can get for about 25 bucks online, almost anywhere. So this is your transducer. As you can see, we use rod sleeves to protect the cables. So uh, we actually use two rod sleeves and uh, you can either tape them with electrical tape or zip tie them. And uh, we're putting this on at the beginning of the season. You can see this is the Garmin standard barrel mount comes with a hose clamp. I think they give you a piece of rubber. Uh, I might have lost mine, but I've got just a simple piece of rubber that I use. And we're gonna get this installed onto the trolling motor. But before we do, one of the key components of protecting your transducer is this connection at the base. And you've probably seen lots of different cable protectors out there, but most of them are 3D printed. And 3D printed parts are actually hollow and they're made of a, a material called PLA most of the time. And so what you're, what you're seeing on the market with these cable protectors are very likely to absorb water. They're hollow on the inside and uh, when they absorb water, they're gonna swell. I've had issues with 3D printed parts using them in water for some prototypes of things we've been making. So I actually went out and had some uh, cable protectors machined out of a polycarbonate thermoplastic. And the difference in, in what you're gonna get with mine is they actually have two holes on the side that are gonna allow you to zip tie this rod sleeve right to it uh, to help keep that cable nice and protected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. Uh, I'm gonna give you two mounting screws along with this cable protector. And it's got a slot in the back. You simply just slide it on, turn it, slide it down. This cable protector will fit both the old two style cable and the, the uh, live scope the L uh, LVS32 cable that's round that they came out with in October of 2021. So it's got a round piece on my cable protector. I went with a thermal plastic over aluminum just because it's lightweight. The least amount of weight we can keep on these trolling motors as they're turning around, I figured was a little bit better solution than doing aluminum. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted. We got the cable protector on. We're now gonna attach our rod sleeve by going through the side hole. I'm just gonna zip tie that. All right, so we got the zip tie all tight. Trim that off. We'll get it attached. to the barrel of the trolling motor. All right, so we've got our rubber piece in place. And when you're attaching this, if your motor's facing this way, you want the top to be as flat as possible. If your motor's facing the other way, you want the bottom to be as flat as possible. So if the motor's facing that way, you want this bottom being flat. And that's your when you're in forward mode. I rarely, take this out of forward mode. Uh, maybe for about two days a year, if I'm up in Canada fishing lake trout where we're vertical jigging them, I'll move it to down. So when we go to do the cable setup around the shaft, that's where you want to leave a little bit more room. If you like that vertical jigging on your trolling motor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this attached as close to this down imaging transducer as possible. Once I get that pretty tight where I can still move it, I'm going to try to get this as flat as possible. We want that beam coming out of this transducer to be going straight down to the water, which is why 
The pole mount that has that eight degree, if you're ever putting it on a pole, get that zero degree. It is night and day difference in what you can see when you have that zero degree mount if you decide to use this on a pole. So I'm gonna get that flat, the top flat, with the trolling motor, and we're gonna cinch this down. So we've got everything secured. The deucer is level. Now we're gonna go ahead and deploy this motor. We're gonna bring it down. And this is the part that everybody tends to get hung up on is, what do I do with the cable? The first thing I'm gonna do is create just a small little loop in the cable. And I'm gonna tape this to the base around the shaft of the trolling motor. And what that does is it creates a tight point here versus here. You don't necessarily need to do this. Everybody I know who've mounted it this way has not taped it. That's what I personally do. And I'm just gonna take a piece of electrical tape. We're gonna secure it around the shaft with a loop. And then I'm gonna do one And I'm going to cut this. And then we're going to go and we're going to create four loops with our cable around the shaft of the trolling motor. So we're going to go one, two, three, four if you have a shorter trolling motor this is a 60 inch you probably get away with three and then i'm going to take the cable and we're going to go put it by my power source and i'm actually going to pull this tight and there's a little pin on your motor on the front of the motor and that's where we're going to attach just the rod sleeve So we've got this tight, and when you're in spot lock, the motor's only gonna rotate around just a little bit past 360 degrees. So we're gonna go to the tight direction while holding this, this up here. And we're gonna spin this, make sure it doesn't engage, all the way around 360 degrees. And then we're gonna go just a little bit more. And we're gonna take a zip tie secure just the rod sleeve to this pin and what this is going to do is if your trolling motor does get tight it's the rod sleeve that's getting tight and not your cable we're going to put that right there so this is tight now and we're going to go all the way back to where you would need to stow it and you can see there's some looseness. And we're just gonna double check by going all the way around the other direction that even if this was loose all the way down here, this cannot hit your cable at all. So we're free of the prop everywhere. We're good to go to start to stow this. The other interesting thing when you do this is your trolling motor is gonna have a cable. As you can see, it's super tight. And you go a little bit more, it's not going to let that motor turn anymore. So this is going to get tight before your cable gets tight. So we're going to go ahead and get this all the way back. And then we're going to stow this. We've got everything ready to go. You've got your cable sleeve around the shaft, the deucer's on there. Everything is secured. We've got it zip tied to this pin. We'll go ahead and stow this motor. And as we stow it, you'll see these rings that get created in the cord and it does get a little loose so when i'm in the boat i'm going to just grab one or two lift them up slide them up and everything slides real nice you can see these are all super loose nothing's pinched and everything's good to go so that is how we do it over 20 seasons of fishing with this setup with zero cable issues and if you want this cable protector again it's a polycarbonate it's super light it's only going to be available at the netbuddy.com Hopefully this helps you as you try to put Garmin LifeScope onto the barrel of your trolling motor so that you can get after and chase and hunt down those fish.